Burns High School senior returned to school today for the first time since he was shot and killed. 17-year-old Tony Panawamba was shot and killed on Larkin Park Drive on Friday. Investigators are still trying to figure out who shot him. 7 News' is Vanessa De La Vina is live outside Burns High in Duncan with the latest. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Fred Tracy. Tony was a senior here at Burns High School, and pretty soon here, students are going to start making their way back to school for the first time since that shooting with what happened to Tony on their minds. We spoke with one of his friends over the weekend who said Tony was a laid back student who had a lot of friends, a pretty good guy there. Tony's friend Donald said he just couldn't believe it when he started getting texts about what happened Friday night. He said Tony had a lot of friends and was very dependable, and Tony would have walked across the stage to get his diploma here in just a few weeks. His friend says graduation will be rough without him. We have graduation coming up in a, about a week and a half, and it's going to be hard on us kids not having him there, but he'll still be there with us. Burns High School posted on social media offering condolences and prayers for Tony's friends and family. They did say that a counselor will be here at the school today to help any students who need it. Live in Duncan, Vanessa De La Vina, 7 News. Thank you, Vanessa. A witness came forward to talk with investigators yesterday, and Tony's classmates hope this will help bring them a step closer to finding out who shot and killed their friend.